Here is a <laughs> here is a bolt head. So where's that come out of? Spin it 180 degrees, Paul. Where's that come out of? Can we turn the can we turn the diff round? Can you turn it? So we I want to see we, no no like can you turn this piece? Oh. That's right. Where's that bolt come from? I was just I was just trying to see if there was a bolt missing. Yeah. That's what we in the tread call the damaged. Eft. Eft. <laughs> we spell it with an F. <laughs> I think we're going to have to pull that apart, Paul. Yeah. Well, certainly not. Because if, if the pinion's damaged, we should have to replace them in a pair. That is awful tight, isn't it, though? Ooh. Ooh. Let me see down here. It's like there. The crown, the pinion. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So it's snapped off there. Look at this here. I bet, I bet they're all wanting to see, but you can't. It's going to be on next week's episode. <laughs> right, I tell you what. Tune in next week. Tune in next week, yeah, that's right. Look, we've got nothing to lose. But to pull these bolts out of here, yep. we're not going to bother changing the settings of the bearings. We don't know, now that's a bolt in there, where's it come from? Either left in there from somewhere else. Yeah, but like I say, all or the it's come from inside, I guess. All the bolts seem to be in the... Yeah. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. There's no bolt heads on any of them. Look, I was looking at this side. See, there's this, there's the other end of the bolt. <laughs> Can you see here? Yeah, yeah, okay. There's the, there's the head. There's the bolt. Where, yeah. Where's the head? None of them. There's no heads on any they, bolts. Are they all sheared off? Yeah. <laughs> Look. Well, where are they? There's no, but there's, they're not there. <laughs> See? There should be bolts going through that way. <laughs> Christ, you were lucky. You're lucky that's held together. If that went in Mexico, you, you'd, be, you'd be a pile of bones by now. It would have robbed you blind. <laughs> that's not good. In the trade, we say the newness has worn off. <laughs> Just had the edge taken off it. Let's go and have a look in the, the diff casing to see if the heads are in the diff casing. Mm -hmm. We're on the search of some bolt heads. Oh, put your hand in here, Paul. <laughs> put your hand in. What do you find? Well, possibly. <laughs> possibly. Possibly bolt heads. Yeah. What the f They've been over tightened, I think. There's no other reason because they didn't shear off, did they? It's amazing those gears haven't exploded in there. I'm, I'm quite a testament to Land Rover engineering. Yeah. They don't need bolts. I mean, there's bits, so many bits of metal in there. Don't Holy they? shit. No wonder, no wonder it was noisy. They never went to the moon, you know. <laughs> it's impossible. It's, it, it's impossible for them to go to the moon. Oh, well, that needs a good clean out in there, doesn't it? Yeah. And look at the... Can you... I don't know if you can pick this up on camera. The sparkly metal inside. Um, oh, yeah. Can you see it? Yeah, it just, it's like, just, a, just put your finger like on, a graphite in there, yeah, isn't put, it? Yeah, put your finger on that side. This, this, look, this, on my finger, look. Yeah, that's, that's what I said. When we drained that oil, I knew there was something wrong. Yeah. Oh, 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 look at that there. 
Look at the big scar in the back. This? Yeah. That's probably where bolts exploded. Yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, they didn't do anything. Well, they did something, but I think they've over tightened the bolts. Well, I don't know. Why. I bet they've used an air gun and whacked them down. I have never seen one of those bolts ever snap. Not all of them. No. That's what threw me off when I was looking at them. I thought <laughs> there was, there it was so one. neat and tidy. Didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, let's go back to the bench and we'll take that diff apart and see what's salvageable. Okay. All right. This bit I'm not worried about. I'm concerned about those drive shaft ends because if they've got contaminated, you know, the, the ends of the shafts. Yeah, yeah. You, we used, we said they were a bit spiky, eh? Yeah. Yeah. And we can compare them with a with a good one. Okay. And uh, and see. All right. Do we need these or not? No? Well, I don't think we need them. Not for anything. No. Well, we could weld them up. Evidence. <laughs> Evidence. Uh, don't buy anything from so and so garage. Yeah. Mm. yeah. You see, this is the strangest thing. They put metric bolts through here, but they've got nine sixteenths bolts going through the flange. Yeah. yeah. Let's pull it off and see what we've got. We've got it real time. Good. I didn't like the way it sprung apart either. You know what I mean? Oh, I need a little hammer because that, the bolts hit there. Wait a minute, I've got my other ones there. The bolts hit the bird over there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, just take them off. You're supposed to take all these rings off and stuff. But... I've got that, dis that our little Are dismantling tool available in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute, Paul. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. You got it. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute, we're going to mark these so we know which is which. The easiest way to mark them, you can use a punch. I'm just going to get the grinder and just go, I think this diff's lost. But I'm just going to put a little. Alright, so we can't go wrong because yeah. this is this one and just a little mark like that. Punch marks are very difficult to see on cast iron. So does it matter which, that they can only go one way round? Or, yeah, yeah. Or not? Well, no, because that, that's oh, yeah. got a pin in it's here for this end. Out, yeah. Yeah. So we know that there's no mark in there, so yeah. that's going to be all right. Fine. And that should come out of there. Um, we need a, a pry bar down below. See that one with a the point? There's a... Yeah, that... No, the other one, yeah, underneath it. This one? No, 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 the one underneath it. The round one. Round one. Round one. Uh, Through the square window. Yeah, there, that's it. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. There's not one bolt head on there. No. Not one. Damage that. Uh, the pin oh, look at that. It's finished. Look. Got a big chunk out of the pinion. Yeah, see there. A couple of places that. Yeah, no, that's gone. And I bet you that's tight, tight as a tiger. Oh, no, it's not too bad. Look at the metal in it. That's what, 15 millimeter? Okay. Oh, I tell you what, we'll get a big, big socket because we've already got this gun here. Yeah, I'll pass it out to you. Is it 15? Or is it 13? Yeah. Well, it's a bit, it's a little bit, but that's, that'll do, I think. It's a Land Rover 15. Yeah. Right. Yeah. on the threads.
I wonder if we could put something in there and bang it down. Oh, well, we've got nothing to lose, have we? Well, only a diff. Only, 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 yeah. yeah, only a diff. To get Loctite off, to get Loctite off, the best thing is to warm it. Will that one do it? Oh. That's heavy. Yeah. Yeah. That's gone, hasn't it? You see, they put the height of the pinion here. Uh, two or three. Okay. So that's come from the factory. There's a shim behind here. So what we've got to try and calculate is because because both parts have gone yeah we've got to calculate a new pinion and a new uh, crown wheel and they match together but our problem is how do we set up the height this is the thing we don't know so I think we'll do a take a break there it looks like Pizzaville yes <laughs> yes and uh, We'll have to uh, we'll have to wor work out what our options are. But like I say, that's a bugger. Like I say, the bearings are, look good, but would you trust them? Well, it, it, I think if we're going to the extent of refurbishing this, then um, I'll get an exchange div. Okay. Yeah. It might be worth the trouble. Yeah. Because there's that straight. It gets off. to that point where there's like. 55% parts needed, you might as well get an exchange one because yeah. it saves time and trouble, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. I don't want to sort of be a burden of bad news, but that's... I've never, ever seen bolts shear off like that before. That should just... You should unscrew that, yep. just pop, pop it off. Yeah. It shouldn't be that tight. Well, let's go and get a bite of lunch, eh? Okay. The bearings... Yeah, it's hard to see what the bearings are like, but... Oh, you see how it's... Uh, it's not blue, but it's like... It's, it's a it's, tinge. It's a tinge. It's worn, isn't it? The newness is worn off. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, we've uh, been playing around trying to get this off. I've got to get that bolt out of there before we can get this ring gear off. Uh, it's kind of obvious now what's happened. Because the bolts have sheared off, this, this has been flexing under load. And what we've sort of decided to do is get a, an Ashcroft heavy duty one with a pinned differential. We can show you that later, but what's been what the pinned diff does, it has a pad here and it allows the constant mesh of the pinion, which is trying to force this away, which is probably accounts for why the bolt head snapped off. Because this is remarkably thin and it's just too much load for it. And it could be because it's the vehicle weighs three and a half tons and these are not particularly heavy duty axles. So like I said by the time we pay for parts and I haven't got the tool to set up the the pinion and you can see how stubby that pinion is and it's got another bearing there. We're going to go for the Ashcroft heavy duty one which is longer it's more stable, it's less flexibility. It doesn't make sense for us to repair this, I'm afraid. Um, and again, it's going to go down to South America, and this is the last thing you want to go um, when you're overseas. I, I, I think it's, it's crazy how they've managed to get away with it without a Salisbury axle, but I think they've lost the, the license to do Salisbury's. I don't know, but... Uh, this is a four pin differential, so that means one, two, three, four pins in here. But again, I don't know. Crazy. Crazy. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to try and get that out obviously and throw all the scrap bits out and we'll put it on the shelf. I don't know whether we'll use it or not in the future because there's not many pumas come here but Ashcroft had a solution in, in stock on the shelf ready to go. Um, it, it makes sense just to replace the whole unit, bolt it in. The drive shafts work out nice. We've, we've compared the splines on uh, 24 spline off of Salisbury which fits nice and snug in here so I don't think we've got any worries about the splines they feel you know shaking them about they feel good and again look at look at every single bolt broke off every single bolt man that could have caused an awful lot of damage that could have locked up on the road imagine that eh? so that's it that's it for now we'll keep you informed when we get our new diff see you later